So here we have a Citroen C4 uh, panoramic roof replacement. The panoramic roof is cracked. We're putting a brand new one in today. All the interior has been stripped out. Uh, this is the first time I've done one of these. It's just a straightforward bonded in. No clips or bolts. So I'll just be removing the glass from the outside using my multi-tool with my cold knife blades. So I think I'll be able to get my multi-tool blade behind this rubber trim. Quite soft. Um, I could cut the rubber trim off but there's a chance I might scratch the paintwork when I'm cutting the rubber trim off. So I'm just going to use my cold knife blade getting behind it. Because this is a new glass here and the rubber's quite soft. It's just rubber height blocks all the way around so we're good to go. So I'm going to start at the back. I'm just going to spray a bit of glass cleaner on it. Just to keep the blade nice and cool. I'll just do that all the way around. We went all the way around with a 19mm cold knife blade. Uh, I think the sides are going to be in a bit further as the, the blade never really caught the, the glue at all there. So we'll put the next size of blade on. I'm hoping that the largest blade's going to catch the glue on the side there because it's the glue must the bond line must be away in here somewhere, which could cause a problem trying to cut the glass out. You've just got to be really careful going along the front there because there's not much room between the, the front of the panoramic roof to the windscreen. So just be really careful that you don't slip and break the windscreen. Um, I'm going along the sides here and it's barely, barely touching the glue so I'm hoping that my, my largest blade's going to going to catch the glue down the sides. Same with the rest of the, the glass when you're cutting out, just be careful not to damage the paintwork. Just keep it tight to the glass edge. The glass is already broken so it doesn't matter if it if it breaks even further. You can see the tension. It's I've got the biggest blade on here, and you, I can feel it straight away that it's actually catching the glue. So I'm hoping that I'll get right through the glue, so we can cut the whole glass out from the outside and just lift it straight out. Battery's died. Let's have to take a battery from one of my other tools. While I'm here, I'm going to remove this, remove this trim now. It's cut away, just to give me more access in when I'm cutting the, trying to cut the glue out. 
just an encapsulated glass so the, this rubber's attached to the glass in the factory. It's not a seal, it's just a finishing trim, it's purely cosmetic. The glass is actually sealed with polyurethane like the windscreens are and most modern car bonded windows are. That's what I'm cutting through with the, the cold knife. So I can remove this and it'll make it easier to get the tool into, into place. Give it another spray of glass clean up. It doesn't have to be glass cleaner, just use water, anything to cool the, cool the blade down. I'll just point out, once I get near the edge and I'm cutting out I just want to take the blade out and start from in there If I try and push it right out and it slips out, it can break the windscreen So, I'm going to go back Start in here I'm not going to start trying to lift the, the glass out yet, I'm just going to go round with the big blade all the way round and then we'll start prying it away and see how much of the glass we've got, we've got free. I'll just start from the front. really tight. Just gotta let my blade cool down a bit so it's don't want it snapping. If you're ever using a multi-tool with a cold knife blades and you're struggling to get through the glue, don't, don't push it too much, just put a bit of pressure on it, just let the tool do the work. If you push it too much the blade's going to snap and they're, they're quite expensive blades. That's as much as I can get from the outside, so I'm going to use my pry, pry tool and see how, how much of the glass I've actually got away. I think most of the back's away, yep. Yeah. yeah, we've got most of it. If there's any bits of glue left, usually when you put these pry bars under it, can. It just peels the, the glue away. So as you can see that's the 
the whole rear end and the sides away. I'm hoping that it's got all the way around. I think the front's got a bit of glue left on it. Yeah, it's going to start breaking. This is the same, so this is going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm going to have to figure a way out to get in these corners cut away. Should be able to do it for the inside. Just going to put that in there, keep the pressure on it. struggle. I can't access it from the inside because of this, this, this cut and rail, this cut and frame and it looks like the only way to remove this is from the outside. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and cut these corners from the outside. The glass is more or less free, it's just these front corners. So we just go in here get right in, just being careful not to, to damage the windscreen. And just cut that along gently. and use these air wedges to open it up a bit. If I put pressure on it, it's gonna, gonna make it easier for it to cut through the glue. It's just trying to get it in. going to cut back the polyurethane bead. You see a big join here, a lot of glue here as well, so it's I'll look into getting bigger blades just in case I get anything like this again. See par panoramic roofs isn't something you get every day. Just occasionally I get one of these so it's not something you're doing regular. If it's not if it's not something you're doing regular, it doesn't become repetitive enough to know exactly what you're doing. So it just takes a little bit, a little bit time. So that's the glass out, glue all cut back, 
just going to prepare the window so I'm just giving it a good clean with glass cleaner Every stage of the process is just as important as, as the next. Everything needs to be followed. So once the glass is cleaned, the glass cleaner, just go around the edge where the bond line's going to go with your white spirit just to clean up any, any dirt, any dust or that that's on the, on the glass. And do the same on the bodywork. I've cleaned all the body work off. So we've got to the panel roof, and damage are some of the damage are in the panel roof. We're going to have to remove the panel roof. Unless somebody tell me, I'll leave you in the panel roof, so you can move out. I'm moving suggestions. Once the prime, once the the glass and body work's been cleaned. Just apply your black primer all the way around the old urethane, the old bead. The same on the glass. This glass looks like it's already been primed, but I'm just going to put an extra coat on of my own stuff. Just give that about five minutes to dry and we're ready to, to apply the urethane to the, to the vehicle. Right, so I'm just going to apply the, the polyurethane bead all the way around the, where the existing bead was as a guide. A nice high thin bead, so once you lay the window in, it will just squash down into, into place, keeping it 100% watertight. Once I've bonded it up, I'll just go around it all, tidying up. Just join up any, any joins. I 
if it is going to leak, it's going to leak for one of these joints. So you've just got to make sure it's completely joined together. <coughs> Ready to rock and roll. What we'll do is we'll just take it up for the back end. If you want me, I you should be alright, like you don't need them. I'll just put them on it because I'm just used to it. So as I say, we'll just lift it up into place, keep it off the glue, just so you keep it up a couple of inches off the glue, just make sure you do touch it with your hands, the sucker should be alright and you'll be able to just hold it like that. Um, and I'm just going to put my side in and I'll come and take it off for you. Alright? Any, pre any preference of what side? No. Right, we'll that's just go. The back, that's the front. That's the front. So we'll just, but I'm going to take it that way because this is what I've got to guide. We'll go up the back. Right. It's not too bad. I, I did, I've done a few of the Discovery Sports and they're quite fucking heavy like. I'm going to let you go with it, because I can... Right, we'll just sort of had it there. I'm going to... You want to come uh, your way a wee bit at the front? <coughs> right mate, you can let go it. Soon as a pound. Cheers. Just like that, eh? Piece of piss. So that's the, the new panoramic roof fitted. Pretty straightforward to, to fit. Pretty tricky to get out. As I say, I'm going to have to see if I can get a, a larger blade if I've ever got one of these again, just to catch the glue on the front edges. Apart from that, there's not much to it. You can see it's a nice, neat and tidy finish with the encapsulated rubber all the way around it. As I say, that's not a, it's not a seal, it's just a finishing trim. The seal's the, the polyurethane bead that I put all the way around it. If you'd like to see any other videos, I've got a... I've actually got a video of a Land Rover Discovery Sport panoramic roof. Um, and you can click on the link, it's on the screen now to, to view that. Thanks for watching.